Okay, y'all, so this is my kind of like a meal prep grocery haul. And I told you guys in the previous clip that I was not doing a whole bunch of shopping this time. So I just kind of got, I went to the store, it's called GFS. They have, it's like bulk, it's almost like Sam's Club and Costco's and stuff like that, but you don't need a membership to go there. And you can buy it in bulk. And you'll see in the video what I mean by bulk. All right. So first and foremost, I have the ballpark beef hot dogs. Great for on the grill. I have also the pork hot dogs. If somebody doesn't like the beef, they can have the pork. So I got battered whole onion rings. Now listen, I am making this month, and I wanted to show you guys, I'm making cheeseburger onion rings. And I know you guys are probably like, what the heck is that? Stay tuned and I'll show you. All right, so I got the all-purpose, all-purpose, all-natural pork sausage. This is the Jones brand. I got the Jimmy Dean on-the-go pancakes and sausage. Y'all, people eat these just to eat these. You're supposed to eat them like on the go. It's supposed to be something quick for you to eat if you are headed to work or school or anything like that that you could heat and go. And this is another one. This is the Jimmy Dean sausage biscuits. Good to go too. All you could do is slap a piece of cheese on it. After you heat it up, it melts right with it. Perfect. This is the Bowed Buffalo Hot Sauce. I usually get Frank's Red Hot, but I didn't go to Sam's Club this time, so that was the next best thing. And then I got Smokehouse Daddy's 10-piece, not 10-piece, but a lot of pieces, chicken wings. I got two bags of those because I can always portion them out if I wanted to and do it that way or you know just pull out what I need and just freeze the rest of it then I got the Kaiser rolls these are good whenever you have like a cookout or something like that these are the better buns than just them little regular hamburger ones <clears throat> I got the shredded these are the fancy shredded Mexican cheese. I use these for like tacos or if I'm making like chili or something like that that you could just sprinkle some cheese on it. Got some sugar. Y'all my new spicy hot sauce to add to my collection. This is called Fire Habanero Spice Hot Sauce and it just says hot. <laughs> no why it just says look see if you guys can read that. All right. Then I got the Trade East. I know you guys are going to be like, oh my God, more spices to add to her collection. Yes, because you know that's what Diaz does. I add more spices to my collection. Told you, I'm going to need a whole kitchen just for my spices. This is the Buffalo Style Seasoning. Get down. Okay, this is the Nashville Hot Rub. This is what I'm going to be using for my chicken. Then I got the flour tortillas. You can use these for either tacos or you could make like the pizza taquitos that I always make. You can make that. Um, all right, so let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I got the Isley's chipped ham. Listen, y'all, I know you guys are probably like, holy, you know, that. Why is this so big? Because I slice it down and I freeze it. The easiest thing to do, you slice it down, you freeze it, you pull it out, let it fall out, and you have some chipped ham. Then I got the pasteurized process American cheese. This is just like the deli cheese. Um, I prefer craft, but I get these for whenever I have like a cookout or something like that. It just it makes it a lot better. Then I got the, let me get this up here, hash browns. I'm going to be making a hash brown sausage sandwich. It's two hash browns with the sausage and eggs in between. I've seen it. 
You're not gonna try it. All right, hold on one second. Mm. All right. This is the Hot Pockets meatballs and mozzarella. This is another good thing to take if you want to have a lunch while you're at work. Easy, you can just pop it in the microwave for two or three minutes. Perfect lunch. Then I got the grill pack. This is for good for a cookout because easy squirt. You don't have to use no spoons, no nothing. Just easy. And I got the Hunt's. Now, somebody told me that the Hunt's tomato sauce is better than regular traditional spaghetti sauce. So I went and got the Hunt's tomato sauce in the big can. This is six pounds and nine ounces. I make a lot of spaghetti. Okay, so what I'm meaning by bulk, these last three items, I'm going to have to use containers and mason jars and stuff like that because I just did it this way only for the fact is, is that they last longer and, you know, it's easier to buy in bulk than buying a bunch of little boxes here and there. Especially like if you have company or something like that and you want to make a big meal, you know, or whatever. So this is the Barilla Classic Spaghetti Noodles. This is a 10 pound bag. 10 pounds, y'all. The next one is the Classic Elbow Macaron Noodles. This is also 10 pounds. And last but not least is the classic bow tie noodles. They're called farfelli. I just call them bow ties because they actually look like a bow tie. But these are all 10 pound bags. They were $19.99 for the 10 pound bag. But in all honesty, it comes out to probably a little bit cheaper because the Barilla um, regular noodles are like $2 per box. Okay, sometimes they have a deal um, that you have like two for four, or, you know, something like that. They're, they're like two forty nine, but they usually have a deal. It's like two dollars a box or something like that, or two for four, you know, or whatever. But you have to catch a deal. This right here, I spent twenty bucks. This will last me forever. So that was just my small grocery haul, guys. I did actually get a pizza as well, but I just put it right into the freezer. It was hot outside, and I wanted to get it in the freezer right away. So let me get this stuff put away. I thank you guys for tuning in. I am going to shop and save later, um, but I'm not going to be getting too much. I have to get some freezer items, some deep freezer items. So um, make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, we'll bring you guys with me. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the grocery haul. Do I have enough spices or should I get some more? I will see you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I love you guys.